Doodlebud here, and I'm going to show you the biggest fountain pen I have ever seen. So what we're looking at is the ACR Jumbo Ebonite Fountain Pen, handmade in India. ACR's initials of the uh, pen guy who makes them. He's been doing this for a number of years. It comes in this kind of cushy, velvety uh, type case, and it's on Kiwi Pens on Etsy. So check them out. I'm going to put a screenshot up really quick of uh, the pen I bought here. With it, let's show you what else comes with the pen. It comes in this pouch, but there's more in here. There is one of these, an eyedroppers. I think this was in chemistry class. They called this a pipette. A pipe, I think that's what it was. You get a bonus little pen. Um, I was trying to see the name. I think it says Pierre Cardin. And uh, so just a small little plastic pocket pen. Unscrews, comes with a cartridge, long one. Also can take a, uh, I got one here somewhere. Here it is, uh, converter. So this is a Faber, off my Faber Castell. Works in there perfectly. So uh, didn't come with the converter, that's my own. It's a cool little bonus when you get that. Also came with, uh, let me get rid of those, a note. And I get the note out, handwritten, which is always cool. Here we are, it says, hi, doodle bud. Thank you for the purchase. If you have any query, please feel free to contact me. This package contains one Kim ACR Jumbo handmade ebonite fountain pen with can write double broad, uh, green, dark green ebonite. A, uh, what's this say? A cartridge fountain pen free. Please confirm when you receive this parcel. Best regards, Saji and, uh, Take care, stay safe. And I like the writing on there, so I actually inquired on them because you can buy separate nibs. And I was like, hey, is that your uh, cursive italic? He says, yes, it is. So I'm going to order a couple of those that I can pop into here. So the moment you've been waiting for, let's let it poke its little head out. <laughs> All right, so you have no idea how big this is because it's not sitting next to anything. So let me show you. This is my other green ebonite pen I have, my only other ebonite pen. So that is my uh, fountain pen revolution Himalaya. Here's a pen probably everybody knows. This is a Twisby Eco. This thing is gargantuan. It's super thick, super huge. So let's get into it and uh, we'll walk you through this beast of a pen. So here we go, Kiwi Pens. This is their jumbo and they mean jumbo. If it said oversize, that would not be an accurate description. This is friggin' huge is what the uh, description should be. But I like it. Uh, beautiful green ebonite, two-tone green, super thick wide clip. It suits the pen. It's pretty stiff. I don't know what shirt pocket you would fit this into. You know, it just, there's no shirt pocket that exists. Um, you know, everything's hand done. So you can see he's got this little slit that he put to put the uh, clip in there. I mean, this isn't perfect like it would be on some injection molded uh, high production count pen. But that's cool. This is a wicked pen. I really like it. It's got character to it. Uh, uncaps. One and a half turns. And that's about the only thing on this is the number six nib. So you'd think big pen, big nib, but uh, there's nothing wrong with this nib. It's just for something this jar, you know, gargantuan, you, uh, a, a larger nib would be great. I'd love if it came with, like, say, a number eight. Uh, so I'm going to see if I can actually find one that fits this. Uh, Ebonite Feed, this is an eyedropper. It's already inked, so I would just unscrew this and you would, you know, you would see this thing as inked, but you don't need to see that. Um, but big feed that goes right in. It's a, I believe it's an ebonite feed as well. Looks like one, and that would just make so much sense if it was. Uh, it posts, and it gets stupid. Um, it's so huge, like, 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 look at that. <laughs> it's if you post a Twisby Eco, you know, this is a super long pen when you post because it barely posts deep at all, and this thing is just so giant. So, anyways. Let's get into a little writing sample, talk a little bit more. So a quick sample here. This is the Kiwi Pens. A 
ACR Jumbo Ebonite. And the nib is a can write and it's a double broad. If you know me, I pretty much only ever write with fine, so but I thought a pen this big, <laughs> I should get a broad nib. Um, it's wet, the double broad, so it should be. This is Robert Oster, River of Fire, you know, super wet, really smooth. There is some baby, uh, baby's bottom on this, a little bit of booty on it. Um, you can see every now and then, as you saw some of my writing, it's it skipped there too. Um, I looked at it. It's just a, it was a bit of a funny angle. It actually touched, uh, tough to see it first, but uh, then I saw it. It's just a little bit of baby's bomb. So I'll probably work that. What I'm also going to do, as I mentioned er earlier, is order. Uh, I was actually, I got this nib specifically. I thought I got to get a wide nib, but my plan was to grind this to an oblique double broad. But then when I saw his writing sample, I looked on his uh, Etsy store a little bit more. I saw he, you can buy his Curse of Italics. They come in a two pack. So I'll keep one regular and then I'll just make the other one oblique. And then, you know, I got to switch up, you know, line up nibs for this, for this guy. So it's nice to have a few different options for it, to have three different nibs with it. Let's do a quick little comparison, a uh, quick writing sample here. You can see it skipped again there, just a little hard start. And this is going to be funny just to compare it against another uh, thick nib because everything else I have is fine. I This is a fine, but this is the Visconti Homo Sapien. And it is not a fine. If you got one of these, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so it's almost as thick the Visconti as this double prod. So uh, it's a little shot at Visconti a little bit there too, but uh, yeah, it, it writes really nice. You know, I typically don't get pretty big, you know, wide nibs unless it's like a stub or something, but this one's fun to work with. It's a big fun pen. Um, and I'm going to get some other nibs for it too, to mess around too. So let's get, let's get you some actual numbers and then I'm going to do some size comparisons as well. So uh, stay tuned for that. Okay. So as far as actually how big is the pen, um, I actually had to get my tape measure out to measure this thing. <laughs> uh, my digital calipers that are working only are only six inch. So just to give you an idea, the uh, the whole pen capped. Oh, sorry, I'm out of frame there. Sorry about that. Is you can't quite tell with your angle, but we're about six and three quarter of an inch. Um, so that's just huge. So let's go through the dimensions here. Uh, capped, like I said, is six and three quarter. In millimeters, that is about 171. The pen itself, so just the body, you know, nib to end is five and seven eighths inch. You can see how it just, the hard start there, I'm pretty sure that's the baby bottom. And then posted a uh, ridiculous seven and seven eighths, just shy of eight inches. Uh, and that is 200 millimeters. So that's a big pen far as diameter, the um, the main writing section varies from about 14 to 14.7 uh, millimeters. Inches, that's uh, what, like 9 sixteenths. Um, the cap is 19 millimeters, so that's three quarters of an inch. And then the body is 17 millimeters, which is about, a little, I guess, what, 11 sixteenths or so. The weight of the pen, let's do that live. Make it exciting. <laughs> there we go. Let's see what we got. So the whole pen itself capped. Man, it's just so giant. There we go. So 45 and a half grams. That's with ink in it. It holds about two millimeters of ink. And just the pen body. 
And it's rolling a bit there. Let's just call it around 30 grams. So for being this giant, it is not actually crazy heavy. And I mean, you're not going to write with this thing posted. <laughs> but this is actually, <laughs> I was going to say this actually reminds me of me a little bit. And I'll show you why here in just a quick second. Let's uh, just do a quick size comparison. Then I'll get back to that comment. So here we go. Actually, that took me a few minutes to get this set up just so I could even get it all in the same frame. But so starting off on the left here, that's a Lamy 2000 Pilot A23 Delta Dolce Vita Visconti Homo Sapien uh, Maxim a Junhao 159 Mont Blanc 149 and then this beast of a pen. So uh, this pen is giant and uh, it's sort of I've, it's grown on me a little bit. When I did this comparison, it reminded me of a picture uh, of me at a wedding. I'm a big guy, I'm like 6'6", 260-ish, 265. I stick out pretty good. And so when I did this lineup here, it kind of reminded me of that picture of me at a wedding, which is, you know, you can just see how big I am. So here we are, 100 bucks later, Canadian. This is what you get. What do I like? What don't I like? Um, I like a lot of it. You know, this for me, that were, I mean, obviously, this is a kind of crazy pen. So if you've got smaller hands, don't like giant pens, you're not going to like this at all. I like it. It's huge. It's ridiculous. It stands out. I guess maybe that's why it vibes with me. Um, yeah, it's well made. Fit, feels great in the hand. Like I said, you know, we got some baby bottom going on on this particular nib. Um, so whatever. Uh, but I'm also looking forward to getting the other nibs in here and playing with the pen a lot more as well. I'll probably get rid of that, baby, that baby's bottom. And the only only little thing I'd say would just be it'd be cool. Um, or even, you know, if you had the option at least to upgrade the nib right from uh, the supplier to say like a number eight, obviously pay a premium for that. The only ones I can really find are the Bach ones and they're all 18K gold or titanium. So it's kind of expensive. If you know of where you can get a number eight to fit this, uh, please leave me a comment. There's also my email in my uh, About page uh, site there on my YouTube page. If you click on that tab, the About. I'm trying to do the non-Canadian version of About. Um, connect with me if you can get a lot, if you know where to get one that works like this on this pen, a number eight on this pen. But all in all, this is the biggest fountain pen I've ever come across. And I like it. This thing's fun. Uh, yeah. I'm happy I got it. There's lots of cool colors they have. Go check out their Etsy. They seem like a great uh, company to work with, and they make some pretty pretty big pens. If you want one, <laughs> there's I don't know how else you're going to get a bigger one. Have a good day. We'll talk to you later.